Okay, so I'm going to try this again because I just realized that the previous video I uploaded to YouTube on this looked like complete crap. So I'm going to go back in and re-record this whole thing and um, hopefully it'll come out with better quality. I think I've got this uh, recording the screen live thing down now. So uh, let's see, I'm just going to move this in to make sure I just gain the Adobe After Effects area. Okay, so... Uh, those who haven't seen this video, this is going to be a review of how to create the thing uh, titles, that kind of title effect through After Effects. It's going to be um, the title kind of getting burned onto the screen with that light coming through like that. Now, originally, um, when John Carpenter shot this opening, he shot all practical in camera. He actually had the title kind of um, mounted onto a fish tank and he had a light shining through that towards the camera and then he put a big black uh, garbage bag over the tank and set it on fire and actually burned it away. So when you're watching it happen on uh, screen it's actually happening in camera. Uh, this is going to be done through After Effects all digital and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process that I used to do it. So first thing we're going to do is go to Composition 1 here. And uh, Comp 1, we have a green solid, which you'll be able to see here. I'll zoom in on that for you. So we have a green solid. Then we also have two titles, just so we could arrange it sort of And what we're going to do is I specifically made the color scheme uh, green background, blue titles, so that it would be easy to key out. Because we're going to want to key out both these elements, but separately. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take Composition 1 and drag it into a new composition and create Composition 2. Now Composition 2 consists of Composition 1 as well as a red solid and a black solid. And then result is going to look like this. You're going to get a nice kind of... you're going to get the burning effect, the blackness kind of dissolving effect, and then you're also going to get the uh, noise in the background, that kind of cloudy blue fuzzy noise in the background. Uh, but the green on the outside is still going to ring because that's going to be saved till the next composition. Uh, so here's what you got to see, what I got to point out to you about this composition. So we have red solid one, and this is in between black solid and comp one. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to show you the effect controls for it. And the effect controls are we have fractal noise, invert, unmute, and invert 2. Now, fractal noise, what that is, is it's pretty much creating a bunch of sort of random uh, random particles uh, within the footage. And typically what would be done is you'd turn on fractal noise then you'd animate the evolution of the fractal noise to make it look like it's having some kind of movement. Here what we want to do is we want to go from we want to go from it being completely black to completely transparent. And that transparentness is actually white, but the thing is we have used the invert and unmult and then invert two to get rid of the white. So you're going to see pretty much all it's done here is you amp up the contrast and then you take the brightness and you animate that so that it slowly goes up until the point where you want it to be full bright where you'll be able to see right through it. And that's what's going to give the effect of the title being burned onto the screen. The next thing you want to do is create a black solid and this is what's going to be 
your main background. You see if I turn off the black solid, you can see right through it. So that's going to be your main background of your uh, title. And you can colorize it, you can, but again, main thing you want to do, fractal noise. And this fractal noise, you actually want to change the evolution. So you can see in here, as I scroll through the timeline, the evolution actually changes. So we're back out there. We have, and we have the title turned on. We have our solids in place. Both of them are animating. So we get this animation. We have the background moving, and then we also have the black part of the title getting burned off. And you can play around with all these things with fractal noise and colorama and change them up, find something that you like, have fun with it. The next thing we're going to do is load into Composition 3. So we just took Composition 2, which consists of Composition 1. And then we took that, loaded into Composition 3. The great thing about this is you can just go back to Composition 1. If you want to change the titles, just double click on the titles, retype them, and you could have them say whatever you want. And it'll just carry through into Composition 2, into Composition, composition 3, and then into Composition 4. If you want to go as far as Composition 4, you really only need to go as far as Composition 3, but I like to do Composition 4 just to throw on a few extra effects. I have Echo, Camera Lens Blur, and uh, change color. Uh, right now we're just going to go back to Composition 3 which consists of two layers of Composition 2. So you just take Composition 2, drag it into Composition 3 and then duplicate it. And this is where we're going to get this effect which is you see the light rays coming through the tile. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go to the first composition, the top one, and we're going to key out the green element of it. So you see, take off key light. It's actually just the same thing we had in composition two, but now I can key out the green background. Make a transparency you could put behind whatever you want to, or you could even throw a black layer at the very bottom and uh, just have it on black. Um, composition 2 at the bottom, we're going to do the same thing. Key light. So you can see there in the title how it changes. Where was I? Okay. So, anyways, yeah. You, so you can take composition uh, 2 and you can apply so you can apply the CC light burst effect to composition 2 or you can apply to adjustment layer which is what I like to do and then you just animate your light burst where you want it to travel you see through here how it animates it starts off at the very top you can see and then travels all the way down to the bottom that's one light burst then the other light burst is just kind of on the side. Uh, here's why you want to layer on two layers, though, instead of just one. If I take off the top layer, you can see all it's showing you is just an outline of the title without any clear definition of it. And you don't even see the title dissolving or anything like that. It's, it doesn't look good. So... You want that turned on without any light burst applied to it so that you have a clear border around the title so you can clearly see it's coming out like that. And then we have composition 4 which again just add on some extra stuff what have you, a little extra animation this thing kind of slamming forward at the camera. And then, if you want, you can go into 
go further, add a title, extra title to it, composition six. This one's final composition. Actually, not even. No, it is in composition five. Which is just, uh, what we have here is just a basic space element. We have a star field background. We have a planet. Uh, this is just an earth map, full earth map that's got CC spear applied to it. And then a little cutout of a flying saucer with some uh, After Effects lightning applied to it. Very cheap animation. But you see, the title just burns right onto it. This is a really cool technique. It was really fun uh, doing it, really fun making it, and uh, yeah, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the, this little tutorial.